No, 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 not Looney Tunes. Uni Tune, as in tune on one image. The researchers at Google have aligned Google Imagine with fine tuning on a single image. This is gonna be different to out painting or in painting with a mask. You might remember this video from OpenAI and August Camp. It's based on the original by Vermeer. It's girl with a pearl earring, one of those uh, traditional paintings that people seem to like for some reason. Anyway, August here is applying text prompts to in paint and out paint, expand the canvas, that particular image. Google researchers are doing something different with Unitune. They want to allow someone to push out a text prompt, flag which part of the image they want to change or not, and it just does it automatically. The fine tuning takes about three minutes for the whole Google Imagine text to image model. And then the prompt as usual runs in a few seconds. Take a look at this example. I think this might be some Google researchers here, but if we give it a really simple text prompt like bodybuilders, it can go and generate this amazing output. I can see some of my Instagram uh, acquaintances, not friends, using this quite often. The paper says, this makes Unitune useful by casual users, e.g. by speaking to a mobile device. I've already done a video about Google Imagine. You can go back and have a look at the beautiful images that come out of that. The model is not actually the biggest out there. Google Imagine used about 860 million training images or photos, and uh, comparatively, that's quite small. It's larger than Dolly 2, but it's smaller, far smaller than Google Party, and even smaller than Stable Diffusion, which is still getting more and more popular. Let's have a look at some of the examples that come out of this. Google wanted to focus on two things. Number one, fidelity. Being as close as possible to the original input image that it was trained on. And number two, expressiveness. Being as close as possible to the actual edit prompt. Three more Google engineers, I reckon. If we mask out different parts of this so we can compare it with other models, look at how Google Unitune is able to replace one with a green monster. And let's try another of the researchers there. We'll mask him out with a purple monster and the third one here with a yellow monster. Let's try another super traditional painting. This is another one that's uh, liked for some reason. It's American Gothic. This is actually the guy's daughter. It's not his wife. Make them into chefs. Make them into teddy bears. Let's make them into the Simpsons. You'll notice in each of these examples that the entire image is being reconstructed, reconceptualized from scratch. This is nothing like Photoshop. This is really allowing the model to think and imagine and come out with its own interpretation of that painting or that image with the new text prompt as a basis. For, so it's fine tuned, in this case on American Gothic, the image, and then it is using a text prompt to rebuild that, reconceptualize that really super cool stuff. Let's bring the engineers back. Here they are having lunch or dinner, I reckon. What about if we ask that to be astronauts in shuttle? <laughs> Let's try sitting on the grass. Puppets. Wizards. Manga. Robots. Elephants. And we can also do cartoon elephants. Balloons. <laughs> we can change things on the table as well. Let's try this. Eating a turkey. Eating grapes. Foam. <laughs> Foam party for dinner. Balls. Holding balloons. It's a really cool out painting. Boxes. 
Excellent. Like other models, Party, Stable Diffusion, it can change color and it can uh, change the canvas so substantially that you wonder what's going on. Check these ones out again, noting that this is not editing the image as much as reconceptualizing the image. So here is the original. It's a house on a hill, little red house on a hill. And let's give it a prompt of turning that to blue, blue house. House and grass covered in snow. Sunny day, green grass, red flowers, large sun in sky. Thunderstorm at nighttime. You might remember this image from the Google Imagine paper. It's just the original dog, probably from Unsplash. Let's give him some different accessories. Dog wearing a red hat. Dog standing on grass. Dog wears a superhero cape. And the poor dog got transformed into a cat. Cat stands next to the ocean. The Google researchers volunteered their families to be <laughs> the single image that was used for pre-training, for fine-tuning the Google Imagine model. Here's the original. A family standing in front of a bridge with a single car on it. But if we ask it to put a red train in the background, it looks a lot like this. Turn them into the Simpsons. Pixel art. Anime. I wasn't expecting this, but the Google researchers commented in the paper, our work raises interesting questions even more broadly beyond image generation on whether we could use similar techniques to imbue large models in other domains, i.e. GPT, with preferences by fine tuning on a single example. I've noted before that imagination is gonna be the largest and most useful skill in this AI revolution. It's how imaginative we can be. The way that I read this quote from the paper is that perhaps we can fine tune large language models like GPT-4 and onward that allow it to align more closely with human values. Have you seen my back to basics video where I talked about having the Dalai Lama as a best practice input or best practice fine tune for these models? What if we could align any output with something like the Dalai Lama's body of work? Wouldn't that be interesting to see? I'd love to see more about that. That's Google Unitune based on Google Imagine. It's outperforming a number of models and different ways of playing with those models like SD edit and text to live and prompt to prompt. It is allowing people to type in a small bit of text and change something about that image. So graphic designers that spend hours and hours playing around with little parts of an image and clicking and dragging and applying layers, that part has been removed. We're trying to automate that for the user so that they can just type it or say it and it's done. Really amazing stuff. I'll leave you with one more little thing to look at here. This is Google Unitune playing around with a cup of coffee and they've given the prompt of cup of coffee with heart latte art. Here's the first version. The entire image there reconceptualized, including the coffee beans. And here's a second version of that cup of coffee with heart latte art. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.